Hello and welcome to week two of our Advent homily series called Knowing God Personally. It's part of this year's theme, Following Jesus, in which we're exploring four key steps we can all take to follow Jesus more closely. Learn, serve, connect and invite, and prayer and worship. During the Advent season, we're focusing on the learn step of following Jesus, and we're calling it Knowing God Personally, because when we're learning in our faith, we aren't just obtaining knowledge about a subject. We're also getting to know a person, the Son of God, Jesus Christ. Well, I have good news for you. Building your personal relationship with God does not rest on your own effort or energy alone. It's a real relationship, which means that God works with us and for us too. Think of the parable of the prodigal son. When the younger son makes the effort to return after going astray, the father runs out to him, gives him a hug and a kiss. I think this shows that God wants us to know him and is ready to embrace us. And I think that as you start showing up by reading the gospel of the day or participating in the two minutes with God challenge or simply sitting in the quiet with God, you'll notice exponential growth in your spiritual health because it's not all on your own effort. God wants this with us. In the second letter of Peter, which we heard this past weekend, he's writing to a group of Christians about Jesus' return or second coming. It seems that some people thought he should have come already, but was delayed. St. Peter disagrees. He says, the Lord does not delay his promise as some regard delay, but he's patient with you, not wishing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. And when I read that, one thing I hear is that God has given us the gift of time to repent, to turn around our way of living and thinking so that we live according to his ways and thus grow closer to him. God is being patient with us. God doesn't want us to fail. And we hear it in Isaiah too. God tells the prophet, Comfort, give comfort to my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her service is at an end. Her guilt is expiated. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the wasteland a highway for our God. In other words, comfort my people because I'm coming. Prepare a way for me to come to them. So through Isaiah, God tells Jerusalem to prepare a highway and God will come down the road. And I think that's also a fitting analogy for our spiritual lives. If we prepare a way to our minds and hearts for God, he will come. And best of all, God gives us his Holy Spirit to be with us, which we heard about in the gospel this past weekend. And the catechism reminds us that the Holy Spirit is referred to as the paraclete, which literally translates to he who is called to one side. So we're not alone in this. God doesn't want you and I to fail. He's not an exam proctor or a stoic scorekeeper. God works with us. God makes an effort in our personal relationship with him. You need look no further than the fact that God became man to see that. And part of our job is to show up. We have to approach the father like the prodigal son or build a highway for God to our hearts and he will come because he wants to be close to you. How fitting that we're talking about this in the second week of Advent, which represents peace. I hope it gives you great peace to know that God wants to be close to you. And if you started a habit of time with scripture this Advent, I encourage you to keep going. And if you haven't yet, I encourage you to start. And you can still pick up the Two Minutes with God challenge. You can participate by going to stjoseph-libertyville.org learn and subscribing for our weekly homily series emails, which include the Two Minute Challenge. If you're already subscribed, please still let us know you're doing the challenge this week by hitting the button below the video in the email. So let's make the effort and approach God out of a desire to be close to him and be assured that God will approach us.